to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Curran. Today's poem is by Sarah Teasdale. She was an American lyric poet who lived from 1884 to 1933. In 1918, she won a Pulitzer Prize for her 1917 collection, which is called Love Songs. Now, the Pulitzer Prize wasn't technically inaugurated or begun until 1922, but it was, uh, it's referred to that now because it was the same sponsoring organization that sponsored the, the poetry uh, grant that she won in 1918. And the poem that I'm going to read today is called There Will Come Soft Rains. It was first published in July 1918 in Harper's Magazine and then was included in a 1920 collection called Flame and Shadow. This is how it goes. There will come soft rains and the smell of the ground and swallows circling with their shimmering sound and frogs in the pools singing at night and wild plum trees in tremulous white. Robins will wear their feathery fire whistling their whims on a low fence wire and not one will know of the war not one will care at last when it is done. Not one would mind, neither bird nor tree, if mankind perished utterly. And spring herself, when she woke at dawn, would scarcely know that we were gone. I suspect that this is a, this is a poem that should probably belong in a collection of World War I poets, as it was written and published, uh, well, published a little after the war, but uh, it certainly... Uh, written near the time of World War I, most likely near the end of World War I. I'm not exactly sure. I know when it was published and put in the collections, but I don't know exactly when she wrote it. But it was certainly around the time of the war. One critic noted that it was at the time before the time of the nuclear bomb. The idea of man's extinction at the hands of war was not discussed a lot. But this is a poem that, that thinks about that. So it's clear that what's going on here is there is a battlefield, and nature is overwhelming that battlefield. It's setting things to right in some ways. So we have this juxtaposition between nature setting to right a place where a battle took place, where so much horror was uh, heaped on mankind, and then the juxtaposition of that with the idea of war creating extinction. So war creates extinction of nature, but nature comes back, possibly creating the extinction of man. So then that begs the question, or at least implies the question, can man return the way nature does? There's a precision to this poem that I really like. It's 12 lines. It's six two-line stanzas. It's got a a somewhat simple form, but she uses that simplicity to masterful effect, I think, here, to uh, to get at the central drama of war, but also to ask questions about man's place in the world and to discuss the power of nature itself. And, and even that line, just there will come soft rains, that's such a perfectly phrased line. That's like a, that's a fantastic bit of poetic writing right there. The way you can't say it very quickly, the way it sort of slows you down, the way it flows off the tongue is so musical. And that's one of the things that Teasdale was, uh, was great at. You see it uh, in several lines in this poem. So I'll read it one more time. Sarah Teasdale's There Will Come Soft Rains. There will come soft rains, and the smell of the ground, and swallows circling with their shimmering sound, and frogs in the pools singing at night, and wild plum trees in tremulous white. Robins will wear their feathery fire, whistling their whims on a low fence wire. And not one will know of the war, not one will care at last when it is done. Not one would mind, neither bird nor tree, if mankind perished utterly. And spring herself, when she woke at dawn, would scarcely know that we were gone. This has been The Daily Poem. Thank you for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another one.